Chapter 11, Lesson 4, What are Mixtures and Solutions? Sometimes elements and compounds are mixed together but are not bonded together. In a mixture, different materials are placed together but do not bond to form compounds. Generally, the different materials keep their own properties. If salt and pepper are put together to make a mixture, the salt and the pepper do not change their flavors or colors. Most foods that you eat are mixtures of different materials. What is your favorite food that's a mixture? The materials in simple mixtures can be separated because they have different properties. For example, a magnet can separate iron filings from sand. This separation happens because iron has the property of being magnetic and sand does not have that property. A screen filter can be used to separate a mixture of pebbles and sand. Some metals, such as gold, silver, copper, iron, and nickel, are elements. Many metals are mixtures of elements. Remember, elements are on the periodic table. For example, steel is a mixture of iron and carbon. Brass is a mixture of copper and zinc. Bronze is a mixture of metals, mostly copper and tin. These mixtures are called alloys. The property of alloys are usually different from the properties of the original metals. The properties of the alloys depend on how much of each metal is used. When dirt and water make a mixture, the dirt will slowly settle to the bottom. When a pinch of sugar dissolves in a tall glass of water to make a mixture, the sugar will not settle to the bottom. Sugar and water make a special kind of mixture called a solution. A solution is a special mixture in which substances are spread out evenly and will not settle. In a solution, the substance that dissolves is called the solute. The solvent is the substance in which the solute is being dissolved. In the solution of sugar and water, the solute is sugar and the solvent is water. Water can be a solvent in so many different solutions that it is called a universal solvent. When a solute dissolves, individual particles separate from the solute and spread throughout the solvent. You can make, a, make solids dissolve in a liquid faster by stirring or heating the solution. Grinding a solid solute into smaller pieces will also help it dissolve faster. Not all solutions are made by dissolving a solid in a liquid. Two liquids can also make a solution. A gas can also be dissolved in a liquid. For example, water in a lake contains dissolved oxygen and carbon dioxide gases. Again, let's go over this because it's sort of confusing. The parts of the solution are a solute, and that equals the smaller amount, and the solvent is the larger amount. When you're making hot chocolate, the solvent will be water, the solute is the hot chocolate mix because you put it into the water and it makes the solution of hot chocolate. In a salt water solution, the solute is the salt and the solvent is the water. Solubility is a property of a substance. Solubility is how much of a substance can be dissolved by a solvent at a certain temperature. The hotter a solution is, the more solid solute can be dissolved. Solutions can be described as being saturated, concentrated, or dilute. A solution that is saturated contains all the solute that can be dissolved without changing the temperature. If more solute is added to a saturated solution, the solute will not dissolve. A concentrated solution has so much solute that it is relatively close to being saturated, but not there yet. A dilute solution is far from being saturated. In many cases, a material will not dissolve at all in a particular liquid, no matter how hot it is. For example, salt will not dissolve in oil. 